Hello and welcome to Oddscale Modeling and welcome to part 5 of our Japanese landing craft uh, hovercraft by Trumpeter 172 scale. So let's have a look at where we're at now. So in part 4 we were up to we finished step 15 uh, doing the fans on the rear of the hovercraft. And then we're moving on to 16 now, which will be the cockpit, the main cockpit area. And here we are now with sprue H. And this is the piece we want to get off. Main section here. So I'll just clip that off. Now there's also some clear windscreen that needs to go inside there. And that will be a part of our clear parts here. And there it is there. It's really, really nice. It's not a... Can't fault that at all. There's also another clear piece that goes somewhere in the back. Oh, there's a round piece on the back there, see? That's also a window. Now, preferably, I want to put them in after I've painted this, so we won't have to worry about masking any of it up. I think that will work out to be quite possible. We can do that. Um, now, let's have a look at the instructions a bit closer. Um, now, if you happen to be new to the video here, um, I suggest you might want to go back to the beginning of the playlist and watch right through from the unboxing and see everything. And uh, subscribe if you haven't. Hit that notifications bell so you get notified of each video as it comes out. And uh, welcome aboard if you're new. Uh, subscribers are growing quite quickly and uh, I'm quite happy that uh, there's gaining so much interest in what I'm doing here. All right. So we've got some ladders to put on here. A doorway has to go on there. I'm not sure if there's glass in that door. And I don't remember what I did on the other side whether I put, if I made that uh, a glass uh, in there or not, I'll have to have a look. And we've got a floor in here with some chairs to be sorted out. And they, they'll have to be all painted up and done. Um, there's a dashboard in here with all the bits and pieces on it. So that's pretty cool. Uh, this looks like that but upside down being placed in, and that's the dashboard there upside down being placed in. So that's fine. And then we have, we're back on the outside. There looks like some form of a grill over the back platform there. And on the roof, there's a an area there, piece to sit on the roof there. So that's good. So there's lots of bits and pieces to go on the roof of this. And then we have, it looks like, um, sort of pieces that go on the side for uh, probably an escape steps out of that window if you had to make a jump out. I'm not sure. Um, but also, we've got to keep in mind that at some point, I need to run lights up in here too and light this up as we've got that already, um, the wires all ready for that. So we'll, we'll figure out how to do the lighting. And over the page... The next step goes on to putting together all the bits and pieces that will go on the roof of this, this cabin and then actually putting them on the roof of the cabin. Then we've got uh, windscreen wipers, lots of windscreen wipers to go on. So they'll go all the way around. And there's a few other bits and pieces on the front, looks like another life buoy. And there's a life raft to go on top, looks like a bit of a railing there. Uh, it's going to look quite good, I think. Um, so, I will get started and have a look. All right. So what I'll do is I'll just clip these off. This won't take much. Um, it's only attached in two places here, which is handy. So there's definitely no cleanup on that other than just there and there. Um, I'll... Uh, 
get the other sprue out and take off the door and the ladder for the beside the door. There's an attachment point for the ladder on there, so that'll be simple. Curious about that door, let me just take a quick look on sprue D. I want to see what that window looks like on the door. And we've got pieces D. <laughs> D what? It doesn't say. Ah, I see. It's it's one of those it's one of those uh trumpeted tricks where you're putting on a part that has no reference to what it is or where it came from, yet I now remember back in part oh back in step three or four or something, I actually was have took it off and there it is there. So really they should be labeling that as um, from step whatever that you had to get off before. Anyway, so that tells me that there there is going to be a piece of uh, glass to go in that because it was done when I built the other cockpit on the other side of the hovercraft. But again, I put that in after it was painted, so I'll do the same again. So that'll go there. And if I also remember, I think we already have that ladder. Uh... Not sure. Yes, I'll just check over here. Sorry about the light. And there's the ladder. Um, because actually I took that off by mistake. That's why I had it over there separate. It does actually date, say it's piece D39. That's correct. Um, but that will go on the side there. And that's about it until we work on the, um, the floor and the actual cockpit inside. So, all right, I'll be back in a second and I'll just get these bits uh, glued on and see where we go from there. All right, back shortly. Okay, welcome back. So I've got all our pieces off, well, most of them off for uh, the cockpit area. Uh, so I'll just show you. So I've put the door in and the ladders on. And I've test fitted the glass in the top here, and it fits in fine. Um, this part here is where the dash will attach to. And uh, if you can see the detail, maybe, if it's going to focus for me. There you go. There's a little bit of detail in the dash there. So I'm going to paint this up and probably put a bit of colour in there, put a few little red and green lights and... Um, maybe get some of those screens looking a bit, you know, green or something. We'll get that looking good. Then there's the seats. So little seats here with armrests look pretty cool. Here we've got some light throttle controls, like you'd find in an aircraft. And they go on here goes one, and on these here goes two, and the seats go in between. So. To give an idea, uh, we'll put one of the seats is going to go just straight into there like that, basically. <laughs> Try and put it in that one there. Anyway, trust me, it fits. <laughs> um, so yeah, so we've got three seats that'll sit along there. So I'll um, I'll also put in those throttle arms. I'll put maybe a bit of colour on the, the tops of those. We're going to detail these chairs up a little bit. Um, we'll probably, I'm not sure what I'll do, but you'll notice here there's sinkholes. Look where they are. Okay. Look at that. Right in the centre of the backrest there. And every, every uh, chair has it in the same spot right there. <laughs> So, yeah, we'll fix that up. Um, not sure of the colour yet. I was thinking of maybe doing it like a suede brown leather on there, but I'll go and have a look at the actual hovercraft and see if it's possible I to see what these look like. I haven't seen shots. I've seen video of uh, the guys driving, but not actually showing the seats. Maybe get maybe a bit tricky to find out 
um, what color and the detail that is, but I'll do what I can. The floor in here will probably be, I'm thinking of going like a silvery, uh, it's a mesh pattern on there. See that? Let's have a look. Yeah, see the mesh? So it's probably going to be um, metallic of some sort and probably dark. So we'll see how we go. Maybe I'll use one of these. Might even try the metal color. Okay. See that? Or which isn't dark. Or we could go gun metal. That's not gun metal. What was that one? Yeah, that was the gun metal. Or I have the um, metal black decisions, eh? Anyway, won't be able to see too much of the floor anyway. Although, I suppose you could. Depends how dark. And of course, I'm going to have light in there, so I do want to show a bit of detail. Anyway, I'll figure this out. But in the meantime, I'm pretty sure I can go ahead and get this in undercoated and get these bits. These all these are undercoated. Of course, I'm not going to worry about these, uh, but I'll get everything done and uh, all ready to go uh, inside. All right. So back again in a second. Okay. Hello and good morning. It's the next day here. And I'll just quickly show you the finished second um, fan. So that's all come up nicely. And yeah, pretty happy with that. So what I'll do is I'll put that aside with the other one, which is in the box here. Put that there. There we go. So now I'm working on the cockpit area, which these have been uh, indicated. So there's the floor of our cockpit. And there's this. I've test fitted everything, the glass to go inside, the floor and the console. Now, the console, give me a bit of detail on that. So. What I've got here is I've painted everything in primer. So there's our chairs, three chairs there. So what I'm going to do is I'll decide to paint these olive drab, uh, which is this. This is the color I'll paint the chairs. I couldn't find any footage showing the chairs. I can get, you know, the guys inside looking out the window, and that was it. I did manage to get view a bit of footage of the the actual dash itself and it seems there's quite a lot of uh, green lights in there with the screens and other lights so what i've done and i'll give you a better look here is there's our dash see that there it is so i've put a bit of masking tape over the actual lcd screens i'm going to spray this whole dash board um, black it's actually going to be uh, a metal black take the tape off then I'll spray in there green which I have a well what I'll try is I'll do a that's a metallic green so I'll do that inside and then I'll probably put a layer of clear green on top See how that turns out. And then for the lights and buttons, a few of the buttons and so forth on there, well, we've got some um, blue. So we can do some blue. We've got uh, red and, of course, green again. And, uh, yeah, I think that's going to look pretty good because this will actually be visible through the windows. So I do want this looking pretty good. Plus, of course, we've got this lit up inside too. There'll be a light in here, so I want that to look good. The control sticks that go between the seats on that there, um, we painted and touched up. We'll probably put a little bit of a, some white 
on the top of those controls. Um, I was thinking of putting a touch of red there somewhere, but that would look like a fire button, and there's no guns on this ship, on this hovercraft, so that wouldn't look right. But uh, yeah, I'll do this. And also with the seats, if you can look at the detail in the seats, um, there's little headrests on the back there. So I'll probably do those silver, just to give them a little, make them stand out a little bit. And of course, we'll just uh, maybe do a little bit of weathering and make those seats look, look nice and comfortable. Uh, this is the support for the dash. That'll go in there. That'll also be painted the same black. And this part here is a little bit tricky. I'm not too sure exactly what that is. It has an, a like a, a textured look on it. If we can get in close and see that. See, it's got a bit of a texture on there. And it goes sort of inside. Like the, the two... See those two little marks there are where the dividers are between the front windscreen go up. And it's supposed to sit in here on the top of the dash, but also behind the, the glass. So, yeah, that's going to be a bit tricky to get in because I can't fit it until uh, after this is painted and also after the glass is installed which makes access tricky to reach over the top of the dash and place that in there from underneath. But, uh, well, well, we'll try anyway. Um, we'll, get, we'll figure that out. So there's a lot of work to be done on that too. But I will go now and uh, put the black on the dash, um, get those painted up, do the olive drab on the seats, and of course the aluminium the main part here and also the floor which I've decided to do will be um, a metal black as well on the floor and we may touch up these uh, con center console pieces between the seats may do them a different color not sure yet again I don't have any way of seeing what they originally are but we'll do something maybe it just a grey might look suitable. All right, um, back shortly and we'll have a look at how it's all come out. Okay, so we've got these parts painted uh, black. I only just did it like 10 minutes ago. Peeled off the uh, masking tape and we've got perfectly nice little square LR screens, which I need to paint. And I'm going to use for this clear green X25. See how that goes. Um, depending on the effect it gets, I could still, even after that, after I put this on, put a bit of uh, clear ammo glue on there that I used for my clear windows. And that would just create a bit of a shine. But we'll see how this looks anyway. So... Pretty much just want to get a very tiny bit on there. That none of this is thinned at all. It's just straight in the bottle. I'm just going to put this in here. Sorry, it's a bit hard with the camera right there in my face but okay okay so there's one coat in there that's looking pretty good all right i'm just going to go and do the other three now and we'll come back and take a look so i don't keep poking the camera with the Handled my brush. <laughs> I'm so close down on here. There's probably about, I don't know, 20 centimeters between the camera and our view. It's all good. Oh, and, and while we're here, there's my seats painted up. So 
They're looking good. They look better when they've got some gloss over them. I'll put a clear coat over them to give them a bit of a, a shine because it's a very flat, matte colour there. Still going to do a bit of silver on the headrests. And, um, see what else I can do with a bit of wash on them. Okay, back in a sec. Okay, so there's our green put in there for the screens. I think it's come up quite good. I didn't put it on too thick. I, I put it a started putting a second coat on and it went too dark. So I took that off and I just left it looking a bit light. And I put it in a little bit blotchy so that it's not just plain blank screens in there. It looks like there's a bit of detail. There might be something on those screens. You know, whether it's a radar or something like that. So what I'm going to do now is there's a few little spots where I can put a few little lights. Um, put a little white dot here and there, maybe a couple of little red spots around. Just to make the dash look a little bit more active. And uh, we'll come back and have another quick look. Back in a sec. Okay, back again. So there we go. I put a few little lights on there. Just a touch of red and a few spots of white. Just make that look a bit more active. And what I'll do is I'll, I'll clear coat the whole thing. I will put the glue that drives clear glass finish over those green LCD screens just to give them a bit more reflection. And then also I did the headrests on the seats as well as just the back of them. Just touch them up a little bit there. Again, I'll spray these with a gloss as well. And I'll put a bit of, um, uh, you know, a bit of wear and tear on them as well. Probably also for this, maybe just a bit of a dry brush to bring up the detail in the dash, just a fraction. A bit of dry brushing to do that. But yeah, come up all right. So I'm going to set this aside dry, dry for about about an hour should do it and then uh, I'll put the clear coat over the top and then um, and touch those bits with the glue to give the glass effect and uh, move on to the actual um, superstructure part of the cockpit, cockpit which is just had its uh, uh, aluminium coat put on it and um, I'll go back and uh, and uh, we'll have a look at that. Okay, back in a sec. Okay, guys, I'm back again. And uh, got quite a lot going on at once at the moment. But uh, I'll show you what we're at. So moving on to number 17, step 17, which is after, obviously after step 16. <laughs> so what I mean by that is that this part... This is finished. So I put those steps on the outside there. That's done. There are other pieces to go on here. So that I'm just putting aside for the moment. And I think I showed these before, but these are all clear coated now. So you see a bit of a shine on there. It's looking nice. Um, the seats are all done there. What I want to do is I'll put the um, MIG ammo glue I have, which is this one here. Put a touch of that on each screen. That'll give a sort of a glass, glossy glass uh, shine and finish to it. So what I'm working on now, oh, and I also did all the those little control um, pieces, <laughs> that, including the steering wheel. Sorry, there you go. That's including the steering wheel. They're done in a, a what was the color? I ended up gun metal I painted them. So they're drying, and I'll put those on the console when I put the seats and everything in here. Um, so the roof of this superstructure here is painted up. So it's the darker grey. Now on the roof are these. Well, here we go. Windscreen wipers. So there's three parts to each piece and it's quite tricky because 
this roof is not flat. This roof is it's got a bit of a curve to it, which means that what sits in there is going to have a bit of an angle, and these wipers need to sit flush. I'll show you here. Need to sit flush against the windscreen or the glass windows when they go in. See? So that's going to go on like that, and then these will sit on top over the windows. Now, the tricky part is getting the angle correct. So I managed to get one done. So I've got to get the two brackets in. It's sitting like on a hinge, but it, it has to be glued. And just at the right angle so that it's going to sit flush against the, the glass. There's no real way of maneuvering it to make it fit. So you've got to get it right the first time. That one I've got right. I actually I put it on here. And I hung it over the edge and I tested it and it looks like it'll be fine. So if I can do all the others, and there'll be six of them. There's three on this side, there'll be three on the other side, which will be three and three. Uh, and they're all different pieces because it's a different angle when it's on the other side for the wipers. Then we've got this piece here, which I'm not sure what that is, but it, it sits down the side of one of the windows. Um... And then there's more wipers, which look like they're a bit easier. Uh, this part here, they sit on one bracket there for the front windscreen. You can see a bit better. Yeah, they're on the front of the windscreen there. There's that other piece there, so that'll go on as well. Quite a lot of little bits and pieces that are going to have to be painted separately, a lot of them. On here will also be the life boy and a few other bits like we had on the superstructure on the opposite side. So they'll get put on. And there's a few more pieces here as well on the other side. And on the top, and little bits and pieces. Most of it, if not all of it, will be hand-painted. Um, which means I should be able to put that roof on now. I might be able to put that on now. I'll just double-check. I've got to be careful right now because I'm doing so many things at once. I don't want to glue anything upside down. God forbid that happening. <laughs> There's also a ladder that goes inside here that goes up to the level where, this, where the, um, uh, the seats are, which is unusual. But there that is there. I painted that a gunmetal because I figured if I painted that black, you wouldn't see it too well. Not that you could see it anyway, but anyway, it's all good. So I'm going to go on and put the rest of these together. There's six of them, three and three, is six of them. I'll put them together, uh, put the front windscreen wipers together, including that piece, and then we'll move on. This looks like a couple of little bits of gla glass or clear plastic need to go inside these, which go on there. I'm not sure what they are. Uh, and this is the bracket that holds the life raft barrel that we built way back when we did the first one, which required two of them to be done at the time. But that's the bracket it sits in on the top. And as, as we go down a little bit here, you'll be able to see that's where it'll be there. That's already made, and that's the, the harness for it. And again, a few more bits and pieces to go on there. So... All looking good. Okay, I will be back in a second. Okay, back again. So what I've done is uh, I've done all the windscreen wipers for both sides and the front. I'm glad they're done because they were quite fiddly, especially to get in the right position. But they're all done and they're ready to paint. On here... We've done all these bits on the front here, which are I'm going to paint. It's like a pipe running down there. There's a little box and so forth. Um, the life boy will go on there, which I've got one coat paint on. Just got to give it one more coat, and that'll sit on there. Then uh, I've also put on 
these rear view mirrors. See those there? Now, I'll, I'm going to go and spray them, but the inside of them I'll have to do a probably a, a, some other silver because there's some clear glass pieces to go on to that afterwards. So that's a nice little touch. <laughs> I've also finished the console. I've put the ammo glue on there. And that's given it a nice uh, reflective look on the screens. See that reflection there? They're all done, and I did a tiny little hole in there where I've got to pop in the steering wheel, which I did. And the steering wheel is, you won't be able to see this, it's minute, tiny steering wheel. There we go, it did focus. <laughs> That's going to go on there. And then um, I'll be able to put the seats, which are here. Um, they'll be able to go into their positions on here where I've now got these throttle controls mounted. They are mounted on there. Three seats will sit in their little spots there as well. Okay, a lot of progress happening. So the main important thing is to paint this now because... Uh, I'll paint these in this uh, aluminium and that's it. There's nothing else I need to worry about painting on here. It will all be done. So then I'll be able to start placing on this and there's another piece to go on the back there and start attaching the windscreen wipers and everything else. Start building this up. All right, I'll go get put some paint on this and we'll be straight back. Okay, welcome back. So it's been a long day. It's about 7 p.m. at night now. But I have managed to finish this. So I did paint the final um, parts on this all done. The rear view mirrors are painted inside just a slightly different grey in there. And they still has to have the glass put in, which will be one of the very last things I do. Um, that little hole there is for a window at the back which has glass to fit in that as well and of course the windows around here um, down here i still have all the wiper blades to go on that will probably be the next thing i do so hopefully that will go well pretty sure it will um, i've also finished the cockpit area with the seats so there they are there they come up really nice So they're all done. Now, what I've got to do too is still work out how I'm going to put the lights in here and where I'm going to put the lights. Um, haven't figured that out yet. But, uh, I'll be looking at that next. So also there's a few other little, lots of little bits and pieces to be added on the top of this yet. So going by the instructions, we've now done, uh, so I can now tick off number 16. So that's all done, other than the glass, but I'll put that in after. Then we go over to 17, which was all the window, uh, the, not the windows, all the wiper blades were all made up, that pipe's been fitted, that's on. Excuse me, there's the rear view mirrors, and that's the bracket for this um, raft, which is done. I uh, put that together and painted that up as well. So 17 is done. 18 is fitting all of that, plus a few extra little pieces that I still have to take off the sprue and cut. I put the second coat on our life, life boy there. And that's pretty much dry now, so that's ready to pop onto the front, which will go on here. And it'll go just in there, so that'll be done. Um, there's our barrel going. Uh, I keep calling that a barrel. That's the life raft. 
inflatable. So that'll go on top. And there it is there. So I'll show you that. So there it is with the the brackets. So it's, it's all coming together. Like I said, there's a couple of little bits and pieces that I need to still take off the sprue and attach onto here. But I've only just glued on the this grey sections here. So they're still drying. I'll leave them overnight. But that's fine. Um, and that completes. That will complete that. We'll come back and see how that is before I go on to making uh, this up which is using up the last of the photo etch and it's basically just repeating what we built before and this was the part on the other side of the hovercraft where i actually put the piece in upside down you'll see that that i did that by mistake i won't be doing that a second time i won't be making that mistake again um, i won't be filming the making of that because we've already shown that it's only exactly the same thing again the same with this part on the other side i'll be making all that up but won't be showing that so after i finish this it'll be a matter of there's a few little lights on top of the superstructure we need to to do with some clear red uh, we'll touch up on the lights and um then we'll, we'll, we'll then we're going to be up to putting them on the deck aren't we but there's decals to go, so we still need to put decals, and a lot of the decals will be able to go on before we attach all these and put them all on the deck. Um, one reason why I did in the last video um, clear coat this deck is because I have decals to go down on that before all this goes down. It'll be much easier. All right, so without getting ahead of myself, I'm going to get on to doing this. Not right now, I'll do that in the morning. Um, I'm just going to let that dry, and uh, and I'll be putting all these bits on, and we'll have a look at it. All right, stick with us. Be back shortly. Okay, welcome back. So this is coming along quite good, as you can see. So I've got the glass in windscreen all in come up nice a life boy on the front and um, we got all little bits and pieces on the top all painted silver and uh, a couple of bits of chrome i put on there just to change the color up a little bit there's our life draft on the rack at the back there it's all in place Got the mirrors in. Done. All I have to really do on here now is there's a few bits painted. There's a bit of um, a grill and a looks like a, a pipe of some sort runs. Whoops, there we go. Runs down the wall inside there. So I'll fix that up. And then uh, the windscreen wipers. We got all the wipers to put on. So yeah. It's coming along really well. All right. So I'll keep going and um, I'll get all these wipers on. I'm really hoping they fit properly. Uh, here they are here, all ready to go. Right, so we don't get them mixed up. And uh, I'm sure they'll be fine. And of course the seats and everything else are all or ready to go in as well. And I still haven't even tried to put any light in here yet. In fact, uh, that's uh, what I might do right this minute is uh, have a look at our light options. Okay. Well, actually, before I go, so I do have one of these, but I think these might be too bright. So my other option is... I don't know where I put it. Let me just grab it. I'll be back in a second. All right. So the other option is this, which is just some uh, cheap lighting I bought here. And I can flick that on. The good thing about this is I could put a few in there if I need it and just bend the wires to position them where I want in there. I don't know if one will be enough or I need to put a couple in there. 
but that's the other option. Um, I think that would probably be the best way to go. Anyway, yeah, I'll look at that. I'll be back shortly and we'll work this out. Okay, welcome back. So what I've decided to do with this is I've bent this. There's going to be two lights in there. One, I've bent in such a way that it's going to sit on the roof. I'm going to glue that to the roof. I'll put this side in a tube and paint that um, aluminium so it blends in with the back wall so we won't see the wire going down. And then underneath here, there's a floor with a gap where I can put a second light and that will just add a little bit of extra light on the back of it um, coming up from beneath. And then, of course, it will just be um, bent and folded in and uh, connected to the wire that's already there coming through the deck. Um, I won't be using this. I'll be using what's already connected onto the hovercraft that we set up in the earlier videos. All right, so I'll set that aside for now. I'm not going to start on that yet. But what I am going to do is I'm going to get these windscreen wipers on. And uh, they're, they're all up here ready to go. So I'm going to position all of those. Now what I did do was I just added uh, a bit of a, a black on the bottom of the wiper blades. See that? Yeah, you see that black? Just to show it looks like a bit of, like you would have the rubber on the wiper blade. Um, so I've done that on all of those. So I'll, I'll position them and uh, we'll have a look and see what they look like when they're in there. Okay, back in a second. Okay, so I got the windscreen wipers on. And they all went on quite, quite good. Here they are there on the side. This one's on the front. See nice and flush against the windscreen, which is important. They are there. So that piece is completely finished now, except for the interior. We've, I'm about to put in the um, uh, the seats and the dash and everything, but I may have to glue in the light first. I need to glue it into the top there. So we'll have a think about this and figure out what would be the best move next. All right, back in a sec. Okay, so um, what have I done? I put the floor in. So the floor is in. And I'll try and get this so you can see. Possibly look in the window there. You'll see there's the... Chairs are in, the dash is in, it's a bit hard to see in there, of course it won't be so hard when the light's on, but there it is, okay, now I've, I've got my lights ready to go in and all I literally have to do for this is just tap some CA glue on the top of that and down the side of this and then that's going to sit in there up against the back wall and the bottom one will light up a bit down the bottom there um, so that i will leave for a while because this piece is finished now there is the ladder there the little ladder that runs up to the platform to there which you're really not going to see you wouldn't see the top of it as it as the top of it sits up inside there but that's about all but again, I'll put that on after I've done the, the wiring because I don't want to knock the ladder off. So it's just going to be hanging under there. Um, but yeah, that's that's pretty much finished now. All right, so now I haven't finished doing... We'll just go to the instructions up a bit. So I can now um, tick off number... 17 and 18 which is they're all done which is all of that now i still have to make up the second side 
there's the piece where I won't be gluing the bit upside down on. Then I'll need to do this section here, which I've built before. This is all on the other side of the hovercraft. And then it's a matter of putting it all on. But So I'll do those off camera because we've already seen them done in previous videos. So when I come back now, they will be done. I'll get all of those done and then we'll be ready to pretty much do some decals and probably, well first of all, will be to clear coat all these modules that have been built. So all of these, there's one in there. So I'm going to give them all a clear coat so that we can decal and, um, and weather them all. Until then, I'll get on to building these and then, uh, yeah, we'll come back at the point where I'm going to clear coat. Okay, so I'll be back in a second to you guys. To me, it'll be about two days, I would say, one time to do all these. Um, yeah, okay, back shortly. Okay, welcome back. So as you can see, it's looking pretty busy here. Um, I've been getting quite a bit done on the... Um, superstructure of the other side of the hovercraft. So the second one of these I've built up now. You can see that. I've just put the grills in there and painted those. So that's all finished now. That will go in there. And then uh, I've added the tops of these with those exhausts that uh, rotate on the top there uh, they're all these are both finished now the one that i made the mistake we saw and i had to pull apart well that's got the top on there now and the second one i've built so they're all good to go now there's a lot of the quite a bit of stuff to go on top of these which is what most of this is so i've just sprayed now um so there's a a darker rack which will sit on the top of here and then there's some mesh that goes underneath that there's the mesh there painted i literally painted those five minutes ago and then there'll be a little piece like a walk platform that goes across one of the vents that will sit over there and there's one of them there that i've made up uh, and that will go on there and attached also attach underneath so yeah and then of course there's this piece here which i was wondering where that was supposed to go there's only one of them it actually goes down the side of the hovercraft on the outside of the superstructures we'll have a look later where i'm going to put that on um strangely it only goes on one side not the other and i think it represents a pipe so whether it's a, a water drain pipe or something probably is okay that there so now what i'm aiming to do is i want all that stuff to dry so i'm not going to touch that for the moment what i'll do is I'll, i'm going to get all these lined up and on some foam because they all have to be um, clear coated before i do any weathering on them so i'm going to get all this clear coated but before that, because I'm still waiting for bits to dry and to be put on here, I'm going to grab the base of the actual hovercraft now, the deck, because it's all been um, clear-coated. And we'll go grab some decals. I'll clear up my mess here, and we'll see about putting some decals on the, um, on the deck itself. All right, I'll be back very, very shortly. Okay, so here's our our um, main deck. It's all clear coated and ready for decals. It doesn't have a great deal of decals, but there's a few, and there's in particular there's one long one that goes right up the center. And what I've done is I've actually cut it into two. I think just it would be a bit too difficult to handle. All right, so I'll put that on first, and then I'll put this one on. I'll line them up and you won't know. There's also a piece that'll go across this way, another yellow one, which I'll also put on. Okay, so I've got my water, I've got my 
my mark fit ready here and I'm just going to grab some cotton buds and some toothpicks just in case I've got to move things around a little bit and uh, I'll put these two decals on and uh, we'll come back and have a look because then there's another yellow one that needs to fit somewhere in here as well yeah somewhere in there we've got to fit another yellow decal which is going to be oh no it should be on the outside of that fence railing so we should be right okay back in a sec okay so i've got two of those strips down and um, as i mentioned i cut the longer one in half and i'm very glad i did do that because I noticed as these were soaking in the water and starting to lift off the backing um, paper that um, some were starting to split and they were starting to crack a little bit. So I did get them on no problem. Um, but I think it may be just the age has affected the quality. I'm not sure. There's one little tiny little spot down there that I'll have to touch up with a bit of yellow paint. That's barely noticeable. Um, the rest, uh, it's all gone on fine. But I thought I'd just mention, yeah, cutting in those long ones in half just made it a lot easier to handle. If I'd have done that in one long strip, that, yeah, I could imagine that it may have fallen apart. Definitely not as I wanted, would have wanted it to. <laughs> um, so I'm still going to go on and do, we'll have a look here. So the two centre yellow ones. I don't know why maybe they knew that these were cracked and going to be a problem because there seems to be a spare yellow one there N number 27 there's actually two of where you only need to use one so i guess that's good of them to have a backup extra one there now there's some two yellow pieces that go around here on the deck and those are here on the deck all that's those two there and i'll put those down and I'm pretty sure that that is all there is for the deck. I will have to check. Everything else goes on the superstructure and also on the air cushion around the outside as well. It's quite a lot. If you look at here, look at them all on there. All these markings will go on. But I'll double check. But it looks to me like that is... Uh, that is all that's going down on the deck. So that, that's a good thing. So I'll um, I'll finish this off, uh, put those yellow ones on, and then uh, set this aside and, and put uh, some plastic over it to protect it and then get back onto their superstructure pieces. Okay, back in a sec. Okay, I'm back again. And I've just... Um, getting these superstructures here ready for uh, painting with, with a clear coat. So as you can see, this is one side of the hovercraft and all the sections to it. Oh, and of course the, um, the fans, I forgot to add that. That will go, so I'll just move these up a little bit. Yeah, here, yeah. there, I think, or is that one? Might maybe round the wrong way. I think it is actually. Just checking. Yeah, turn that around that way. In fact, I think it's the other one that goes there, but we'll sort that out, and then that will go there. All right. So what I'm going to do is um, I'm going to go and spray these with my Tamiya. And it's uh, TS79, which is a semi-gloss clear. I'll give them a coat of that. I want to do that today because it's getting late in the afternoon now and I want it to dry overnight so that tomorrow I can get into doing some of the weathering or at least the decals that need to go on this. And I want that to be completely dry before I do that. All right, so, um, yeah, I'll go ahead and do that and then... When I come back, we'll see how we're going with the decals on the deck. I've got a couple more to put on there. Okay, back in a second. Hello, welcome back. So, 
Um, I don't know if I've already showed you, but I've done both sides of the yellow uh, markings on there. And I'm about to start uh, working on all the rest of the decals. And there is quite a lot to be done on the superstructure engine coverings and the shroud around the fans. Uh, and on the also on the um, platforms and so forth. Also, there's these ones here. There's quite a lot to go around on the um, actual cushion itself, the air cushion. Now, I'm not sure how I'm going to go about doing that because the instructions ask you to paint um, all of that air cushion, and I didn't because I wanted to leave it as the black rubber that it is. I just thought that that looked fine. But when I've come to look at the decals for it, the decals aren't clear, they're actually black, um, which is a shame. Um, see these here, also the decals. And of course, the black is obviously a lot blacker than the black of the unpainted surface here. So whether I can actually paint these decals on, get the similar pattern or I could get them to go on and maybe blend them in during the weathering so they don't stand out too much I'm not sure um, you'll also see these long ones here as well and they go all the way around the side of the cushion um, they may be okay because they all they it's just one strip all the way around but and it's sort of inside one of the seams, if you can see this. But it's that that decal sort of runs all the way around here. So that may be all right to go on. But again, the condition of these decals so far I've encountered, particularly with the yellow, well, with these yellow ones, was that not long after they started soaking in the water, I could see them starting to crack. So I'm assuming that I would have the same problem with these. Uh, but I'll, I'll give it a try. I'll try it. Even if I have to cut them into quarters or thirds so there's less to handle, um, I'll put them on. There's a lot of um, little outlet air outlets. Do not block little signs there. Go on superstructure. Uh, individual little dots that we saw on the paint guide there, which could be um, just painted on rather than using these um, we'll see uh, we've got some bigger yellow ones some caution stickers keep areas clear so that all could go on and look good um, but there was also more decals of course I cut that sheet in half and we got the actual um, landing crafts number it goes in various spots uh, there are some white decals there, not sure where they go. And of course, the Japanese flags have been blacked out, which we can't use, unfortunately. And uh, I do have these flags amongst some of my decal collection from other things, but they're not the same size. They're not going to be the right scale. So that we'll just have to think about what to do about that. All right, so I'm going to um, finish off our video here. Again, we're getting up to the hour sort of mark. And what I'll do is the next one will be video, which will be part six, will be focused on... I'll go through and show you all the decals that I've put on and how they've all gone on. And then we'll go through the weathering process because as you'll see here... I sprayed all these in clear coat yesterday and they're all dry now. So all those are ready for decals and weathering. And we'll go through all that in the next video. Uh, that's just some of them. I've got more there. And I'll be individually going through and we'll weather up all these. We'll use some um, panel line, some Tamiya's panel line ascent cover there uh, I've got some stain mixtures from MIG a few other things so we'll, we'll get these all looking up um, looking good 
and well well weathered all right so uh thank you for watching um please subscribe if you haven't subscribed already give us a thumbs up if you like the video and and comment below uh, i'm welcome all comments comments are much appreciated um, i get a lot of tips advice and uh, inspiration to keep going <laughs> when things get a bit confusing or tough from those comments and i will see you all in what will be i'll just double check that it will be yes it will be part six okay so until part six stay safe and i'll see you all then bye for now